What's up YouTubers, Aldo SJ McLaren back with a brand new video for you here and what this video is going to be about today guys is a few weeks ago I done a tribute video to the life of the Macho Man Randy Savage and as uh, the, the time has went on I realised that Randy Savage deserves a lot more than that so what this video is going to be today is this is going to be part one uh, of two. So there's going to be two videos. Uh, this part one is going to be uh, the titles that Randy Savage has won, uh, the major, major titles that he has won in both uh, the WWF, WWE and WCW. So as always, just strap yourselves in and bear with me. And in part two, uh, I'm going to be talking about his top five matches. My opinion on uh, the top five matches that I think fit Randy Savage that were the best of his career. Now, let's get into it. Let's start at the beginning. When Randy Savage came into uh, the WWF WWE uh, in early, late 85, early 86, uh, he came in as a major heel and uh, Vince McMahon was looking for a major heel to hold the workhorse championship of the WWF WWE at the time. We all know what that championship is. It is, of course, the Intercontinental Championship, uh, which was held by fellow uh, future Hall of Famer uh, Tito Santana and uh, Randy Savage was going for this championship uh, in the Boston Garden on the 8th of the 2nd, uh, 1986. And Randy Savage beat Tio Santana in a very salty way. And uh, as in what I mean by a very salty way, as in a very heel way. Uh, Randy Savage went on to hold that for to hold this championship, and all honestly, I want to say maybe 30 months, uh, because he lost, as everybody knows, he lost it to uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat at uh, WrestleMania 3 in a historical uh, Intercontinental Championship match, and as as I've said in previous videos, one of the absolute best wrestling matches in professional wrestling history. Uh, but with this championship, Randy Savage actually looked at it as it rivaled the uh, world championship that was uh, held by Hulk Hogan at the time. Uh, I mean, it actually says heavyweight wrestling champion on it underneath the Intercontinental banner. And Randy Savage treated this like it was the uh, championship that everybody wanted to have. Uh, but... When Randy Savage lost it, he was a major heel at the time, as through the summer went and going into the winter of 86, uh, Randy Savage, uh, sorry, 87, Randy Savage sort of uh, became, was starting to become more of a face, a uh, good guy. He was more, the fans were starting to get behind him, basically. Uh, and uh, going into uh, WrestleMania 4, uh, Randy Savage was going after another championship. We all know the story of what happened uh, in the early part of uh, 1988 uh, surrounding uh, Andre the Giant and Million Dollar Man and Hulk Hogan. We all know about the tournament that went down when... Uh, and Randy Sa at WrestleMania 4, sorry, and Randy Savage uh, was a uh, part of that tournament and he faced off against the likes of the natural Butch Reed, Greg the Hammer Valentine, the one man gang, and in the finals, he faced the million dollar man, Teb DiBiase, for this the Winged Eagle WWF Heavyweight Championship. And this was the first time that Randy Savage uh, became the world championship. It won't become the world champion of the WWF, WWE. And uh, 
what a way to win the championship. Uh, now, Randy Savage, had, a year prior, Randy Savage had just come off the schedule of being the workhorse champion for the Intercontinental title. And he won this and it just went on to another level. Uh, he was a very, very good uh, face champion. But then as things were going down, that they were, the way they were going down after SummerSlam, the very first SummerSlam uh, in the summer of 88, uh, Randy Savage was sort of becoming very unface like. Uh, they started to uh, have a salty, they were sort of salty bickering between him and uh, Hulk Hogan, where come uh, WrestleMania 5, the mega powers exploded. Uh, Hulk Hogan, uh, being Hulk Hogan, uh, was in the rivalry with Randy Savage. And uh, Hulk Hogan ended up beating Randy Savage for this championship uh, at WrestleMania 5. And unfortunately, uh, Randy Savage wouldn't see this championship again for a little while. But when you lose one title, another title became uh, in Randy Savage's sights. Now, what had happened uh, after WrestleMania 5? and uh, SummerSlam 89, uh, Randy Savage actually beat the current king of uh, the WWF, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and Randy Savage became known as the Macho King. So he, uh, he managed to become, he got an individual title that was, he was the king of the WWF before the actual King of the Ring tournament was a thing, uh, was a, was a pay-per-view, uh, and Randy Savage became a very regal heel uh, king. It, he was almost, if anybody remembers how Booker T was when he became King Booker, uh, that is how Randy Savage was when he became the Macho King. And, and in all honesty, this switched Randy Savage to another level. Uh, he went away from the uh, trunks uh, that he originally had and the sparkly robes and he evolved into the attire that he would be known by more by his uh, flamingo uh, cowboy gimmick, uh, cowboy outfit, sorry. Uh, and it was during that time that uh, he had th this look that Going into uh, WrestleMania 8, he was uh, facing off against the nature boy, Ric Flair. Uh, and in a salty way for Randy Savage, even though he was walking into uh, WrestleMania 8 as the face, as the good guy, uh, he did walk away with the WWF Championship one more time. Uh, and as I keep saying to people, it was uh, this match that drew me into becoming a professional wrestling fan. Uh, I have said that in my uh, wrestling bio. I don't need to go into uh, details about that. Uh, but yeah, Randy Savage was the uh, WWF champion from uh, WrestleMania 8 in April of 92, going uh, all the way into uh, September of 92. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Randy Savage uh, dropped the belt back to uh, Ric Flair. Uh, Vince McMahon was uh, wanting to, after the results of uh, SummerSlam, where Bret Hart and uh, David Boy Smith, the British Bulldog, had done an incredible Intercontinental Championship match, uh, Vince McMahon wanted to get behind uh, Bret Hart and put the World Championship on Bret Hart but he didn't want a face going up against a face, so Randy Savage lost the championship to Ric Flair, and then a couple of weeks later, Ric Flair uh, gave it to, uh, uh, lost it to Bret Hart, and unfortunately, Randy Savage uh, was no, what he didn't get a shot at being the world champion again uh, properly. Uh, he had a few segs here and there on Monday Night Raw. He even went, for the Intercontinental Championship again uh, against Shawn Michaels, but unfortunately, 
uh, Vince McMahon sort of saw Randy Savage being more the uh, color commentator uh, than being a wrestler. And that's what led to Randy Savage uh, leaving the WWF WWE for WCW. He entered WCW in uh, winter of uh, 94. Uh, and it was a year of almost a full year later, 11 months later, when uh, Randy Savage and uh, throughout all that year, Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan were the mega powers again in WCW. Uh, and going into the first ever World War III pay-per-view, that was sort of like uh, WCW's answer to the Royal Rumble. Uh, out of three rings, 60 men, Randy Savage, uh, became the WCW World Heavyweight Champion where he won this big gold. Yes, this is the WWF WWE version, but it is the big gold. You guys get what it is, what I'm talking about. Now, Randy Savage's uh, first, uh, like I say, first WCW uh, Championship came on the 26th of the 11th, uh, 95 at World War III. He unfortunately lost it a month later at Starcade to uh, Ric Flair, which I thought was kind of crap. It was almost as if Ric Flair was play was playing his uh, his uh, can do what you want contract clause, which he did. Uh, but Randy Savage, being a businessman that he was, he just went with business. He did get the championship back, back the championship back on a special edition of uh, Monday Nitro and, uh, on the uh, 22nd of the 1st, 1996. And then he wouldn't get, he lost it back to Ric Flair a few weeks later, which was kind of crap. You know, uh, for some reason, Randy Savage didn't really get a long Jeff A reign with the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, which I feel is kind of a shame because Randy Savage, I don't care what Andy says, Randy Savage was and was a strong champion. Uh, he looked the part, he suited the belt. I mean, the belt looked, each World Championship looked awesome on Randy Savage. He just had that belt. Uh, he didn't get the uh, championship again until he uh, was going up against Sting at a uh, spring stampede on the uh, 19th of the 4th, uh, 98. And he was going in there as a member of the NWO. Uh, it was a toss up between either Hulk, Hollywood Hulk Hogan or Randy Savage. Randy Savage won the coin toss, I think, that, that time. And uh, Randy Savage beat Sting to uh, become the World Heavyweight Champion. Unfortunately, Randy Savage only had it for 24 hours. It somehow found its way back to uh, Hollywood Hogan. And as we all know, we know what happened with the NWO after that happened. Randy Savage uh, didn't get the World Championship uh, one more time until uh, Bash of the Beach uh, 99, where uh, he was in a tag team match with... Uh, with Sid Vicious, and he was going up against uh, Kevin Nash, who was a world champion, and Sting. Now, the way this tag team match was going, where Kevin Nash was walking in as the champion, but anybody could pin Kevin Nash and walk away with the World Heavyweight Championship. That was that kind of match. That was WCW back then. WCW was crazy. Ask Andy, who is a major WCW fan, they will tell you this is the kind of stuff that went down. Uh, now, as I say, Randy Savage did win this, uh, did win the championship, uh, but unfortunately he only got to have it for 24 hours again, where Hulk Hogan came back from a leave that he was on, and Hulk Hogan played his Hulk Hogan uh, contract clause, and Hulk Hogan beat Randy Savage for the championship and uh, unfortunately Randy Savage uh, went out with an injury not that long after 
and he wouldn't get uh, his a chance to win back the uh, world championship. Uh, and in total, Randy Savage went down in history as a six-time world champion. That is uh, with the reigns from the WWF, WWE and WCW. Now, the major, major accolade that uh, Randy Savage has ever had is uh, the year that he uh, went into the Hall of Fame, which was in 2015 at WrestleMania 31. And as a major Randy Savage fan, uh, I loved that. I absolutely loved it. It was long overdue. In my honest opinion, Randy Savage should have been inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2006. It was Bret Hart who was the main guy of the Hall of Fame that year. But in my honest opinion, if things were a little bit better between the WWF, WWE and uh, Randy Savage, I feel Randy Savage should have been the main guy at uh, WrestleMania, uh, the main guy of the Hall of Fame for uh, WrestleMania 22 without a shadow of a doubt. But we did get Randy Savage. Uh, he unfortunately was not alive when he got inducted into the Hall of Fame. But... At least Randy Savage is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, he is where he needs to be. And in all honesty, because I am a pro Randy Savage fan, I believe Randy Savage deserves his own wing of the Hall of Fame. Many people say that about Ric Flair. Many people say that about Hulk Hogan. Many people say that about the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, but definitely Randy Savage deserves his own wing. Uh, so guys, that is this video on uh, Randy Savage's uh, top title reigns. Uh, what did you guys think? Have I missed anything out? If I've, missed if I've missed anything out, please comment below. Let me know what you guys' uh, opinion is on this and uh, keep an eye out for uh, part two of this uh, tribute to Randy Savage. Part two will be uh, his best matches. Uh, but as always, guys, stay safe. Stay awesome and good journey, guys. Bye. What up, Mutt?